hello and welcome back to this week's episode of The Draw Pod. It's me, your host, Elise. In this episode, I'll be chatting while doing a drawing, painting thing of a little interior that I sketched from some Pinterest in- images, and I will link um, my reference image in the description of the podcast. Um, but if you're new here, this is the visual podcast where I draw something and chat with you as I go. You don't really have to watch the video to know what's going on, and if you prefer to listen to it on a podcast app, it's available everywhere. If you want to watch the YouTube video though, check out my channel, which is linked in the description of the podcast. Also, if you would like to see the final image, check out my art Instagram, which is at Elise underscore draws also listed in the description of the podcast. So in this episode, I'll just be chatting about some of the art I've been making this week and just showing you, um, this, this painting that's going on. Um, But before we get into my usual art ramblings, I'm going to go through my weekly segments, which are just a life update, artist of the week, and a book update. And this video might be, or this podcast might be a little shorter than usual. I have been, and I guess I'll just go into my life update, Um, been pretty stressed this past week with everything going on. Um, I am going out of town. Um, I'll be back by the time you get to listening to this episode, but I'm going out of town. And so I wanted to have everything done for, so I don't have to worry about it whenever I'm out of town. And so, yeah, I have been stressing about getting everything done. But um, as we are speaking right now, this is the last thing on my to-do list of getting it done. But yeah, I've had a lot of, um, I'm very thankful to have a lot of commissions to work on that I just wrapped up last night. I had a really sweet cat portrait that I painted and um, a portrait of some lemurs, um, which were really, really fun and cute and very different to do. It's like these lemurs on a pink background. So I really enjoyed doing that and working on those things. And yeah, um, so it's been fun. It's just been kind of a lot and along with also kind of really getting into applying to stuff. I feel like I'm a broken record. Like you've, you've heard all this stuff last week, but um, I'm hoping that going out of town will help me um, to relax a little bit or at least just not be working on anything. I haven't had much time to read this past week, which has been a bit of a bummer, um, but that is okay. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to do that on the car ride and things like that. So yes, Um The internship interview went really well as I was going into um, last week's podcast, if you're following along. Um, It was like about 10 minutes until I had my internship interview. Unfortunately, um, I learned yesterday that I did not get it. Oh, well, life goes on, um, but it was really good to get that interview experience. Um, And also overall, I'm kind of back to what I was saying earlier with, you know, having too much on my plate, like those commissions were great to do. Um, but I'm finally turning things down a little bit, um, which has actually been good for me. Um, I have a really hard time saying no, and I don't like saying no, but um, that's, yeah, that's just been a good choice. Um, so yeah, uh, I just need a nap, and everything happens so much. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, uh, another issue that I had this week, I don't mean to be just going on about all my problems. It's not any, it's not too deep, but, um, another issue that I've had this week is I've just been feeling very uninspired with YouTube. Um, I, I just had a video go up today when I'm recording, which is Tuesday. Um, and I actually really like how that turned out. I love to edit. I hate to film. That is just how I am my existence. And it's so unfortunate because it's so much easier to like pay someone to edit your YouTube videos if I wanted to do that than it is for someone to like to hire someone to walk around and film you. So yeah, it's, it's interesting, but I was able to squeeze one out and I really like it. So you should check it out if you haven't seen that video from this past week. Um, but yeah, I honestly couldn't tell you what my video for this upcoming Tuesday is. I've been feeling perhaps, I know it's crazy, but perhaps like I need to take a bit of a break, but I don't know you guys. I just want to hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I'm very close. As of when I'm recording this, I'm at 971, which is crazy. And yeah, I, I need to take a break though, or I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but that might be what happens. I, I have been eating a lot of really good food though. Um, as you know, 
perhaps I think I mentioned last week my boyfriend is in town and we really like to cook a lot together and it we've just made so many delicious meals we made this delicious Italian pasta dish it's like a red chicken pasta it's so good um if there's any way I can link it in this description I will I will but it's just like covering chicken and like a bunch of spices and then putting a um like putting a bunch of like cream and like tomato sauce into it and yeah very very delicious very happy with that meal and then what was another thing we made we I think tonight we're going to make some sort of like Asian chicken sorry that was my Apple watch um some like wrap thing I don't really know sounds good I love to cook and this has been really fun um and yeah, that's kind of the main things going on. Other than that, it's just that like I so desperately want to schedule my days better in like clusters of things. So like one day be my YouTube day, one day be my podcast day, one day be, you know, art day, things like that. Um, because I feel like I have so, 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 so many things like happening at the same time and I could organize things better, but it's really a challenge to like stop doing something at one point or, or like like if I have this big to-do list it's hard for me not to want to try and touch everything in one day anyway um yes so that's my life update things are okay um I'm finally getting a bit of a relief after I record this episode so that'll be good um for my artist of the week it is Monica Forsberg um this is a very long-term favorite of mine, an artist I'm very passionate about. Uh, I will link all of her stuff in the description of the podcast, and I highly encourage you to check it out. Um, she is a, I wish I could, I think she's Swedish. I should, again, I always need to do my research, but um, definitely a Scandinavian artist who is, I believe, living in London right now. She was on the Jealous Curator podcast, which the Art for Your Ear podcast, which I listened to, um, a long time ago and it's where I find a lot of really good artists that I love and she is an illustrator and what really moved me about her podcast was just how thankful she she was and that she she expresses that like she gets to be an illustrator and have the job that she has and be living the life that she does and just like how thankful she is to be able to pursue creativity and I really related a lot to that and I still do even though I listened to that like maybe two or three years ago Um, and yeah, her illustrations, um, she does a lot of things for like children's books and for textiles, um, a lot of floral elements to her designs. She kind of uses, um, things like crayon a lot and yeah, it's, it's always hard for me to describe kind of what these artists work looks like just from, you know, you can't see it yourself unless you go to look at it. But, um, and then she also does these cute, cute, cute little animals, Um, She's done, you know, alligators, uh, geese, swan, pigs, like, it's so much fun. All of her work makes me smile so much. So I would definitely recommend you check her out. And yeah, she just inspires me so much and is really someone that I look up to and a role model for me within like the art community. Um, So yes, that is an artist I love. And that's the artist of the week. Um, as for my book update, as I mentioned, I haven't really had much of a chance to read this week. Um, I've just been really busy and my schedule is just a little bit off, which is fine. Um, but yeah, I'm still reading range and it's still taking too long to read and I don't know why it's taking too long to read. I don't understand. Um, I know that I should probably start another book so I can start getting through that because, you know, like I was a little bit ahead on my Goodreads you know, goal for the year, which is to read 50 books this year. I was a little ahead and now I'm behind or I'm, it's caught up to me basically. So, um, I probably will start a new book today and keep reading range on the side. I have them all kind of locked in onto my Kindle, so I don't need to worry too much about how long it's taking me to finish them, but I would like to get to it. And maybe I'll bring one of my paperback books with me on my trip this weekend, um, or this week. So we will see, but yes, that is my book update. Um, here, here are my art ramblings. Um, this thing that I'm working on now is, like I said, it's an interior that I've had saved to one of my Pinterest boards for quite some time. Um, it's this kind of like maximalist kitchen. Um, I really like it. I definitely changed it up a little bit 
from the image, but like I kind of rearranged some things, added in some different plants, took some things out. Um, but it's definitely going pretty well. Um, by the t like when I'm recording this, I haven't actually finished working on it. I will in the next few days. But yeah, um, I feel like though, I don't know, it's very strange with this style that I've started working on and working in a little bit more um, of doing like the black outlines and then filling it in. It kind of feels like I'm doing like a coloring book. I don't know. I mean, it's still fun. And by the time I finish it, it looks very cohesive. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I think of it completely. Um, I would like to be able to be more creative with watercolor. It has been very frustrating for me <laughs> um, learning that I don't actually you know, this has been the whole thing that I don't understand color as well as I thought I did or that. And, and I'm learning and I am getting better And that I, whenever I started doing watercolor, I kind of jumped into it and used it in the way I wanted to use it. But I think there's a whole lot of value that comes from learning, like from the masters and from tutorials and stuff. And I just haven't had time to get to that, but I probably will in the next few weeks. But um, that'll be fun to try different things out. And I actually saw this one artist who will probably be an artist of the week in the next few weeks. Um, she is a Tampa based artist. I think her name is Victoria. I will probably link her in the description, but she is a really, really amazing artist and she draws like alligators or she paints alligators and she's very good at watercolor. And I saw her using this method of like painting with, um, over a light box. So she has a sketch underneath, so she doesn't have to use or erase pencil lines or anything, which I love. I have a light box. I use it all the time. I've thought of painting over it, but I just never actually did. So that is definitely a technique I'm going to be using in the future that'll kind of help reduce the reliance maybe that I have online. Who knows? But um, I really love her work. Alligators are amazing. I just bought one of her prints. Um, and yeah, um, let's see what else. Oh, I think I wanted to mention about like making time for art. I wanted to talk about that a little bit this week since I've mentioned that I am behind on things or like I feel like I'm out of time, like I don't have enough time to read, things like that. Um, but it's really important to make time for art. Um, and ways that I do that are I tend to bring my sketchbook everywhere I go. Um, I, yeah, I think that's really important to do. Um, you can get a smaller sized sketchbook to be able to, you know, make it a little more portable, but yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm going to keep this in, but, um, it's also a good time, to, a good way, a good way to do it is to schedule things in. That's what I tend to do. I like to time block, but sometimes it doesn't really work for me. You know, um, I don't know. Time blocking, I, I like do really well on it for like a week or two and then I do very poorly with it because I don't achieve all these um, outrageous goals and to do's that I set for myself. But it's a good idea to schedule and I've been trying to do about 30 minutes a day of sketching. My year long tracker that I set up for my sketching has not been going well either because I don't know. I don't know how to judge it because like is it me sketching every day or is it me making art every day? I kind of want to challenge myself to be sketching things from life or from images for the for the sake of like their own thing and not just count me working on other pieces as me sketching for the day. So um, I would say I've done sketching about half of the month of January. So that's pretty good. But yeah. Um, and then another way to kind of make more time for sketching is even or like drawing and art is even if you don't have time to actually work on it, you can just read about it or watch videos on YouTube of it. I love to watch other artists um, work on art. You can watch the draw pod like you're doing now. I think this is a great step for um, incorporating art into your life. And then when you actually do find your time to sit down with your sketchbook and your art, you have time for it. So that was just a strange little intermission, but I wrote down that I wanted to talk about that. Um, let's look at the other stuff that has been going on in my brain this week. Um, I, I wrote, I was trying, I'm still trying to make that video about like drawing my food for the day. It, that has been so challenging. Um, because I, I've, I've recorded two meals of like me drawing my food and we'll see how it comes together in the future. But, um, I, 
I get so, I, I would get so hungry when I would sit down, like, like my food was ready and ready to go. I would sit down, I get so hungry and then my food would end up kind of cold and very disappointing. So yeah, that's also been what's taking up real estate in my brain. And I also feel like I have too many art projects going on at once and I need to reel them in. And overall, I think it is time for a reevaluation of commitments and things. Um, I forget if I mentioned it earlier, but I'm thinking I am going to um, make a, like take a pause on like the pet portrait commissions um, after I send these out today because I need a break. And while well, these are fun to do and a great way for me to make money, um, they just have been, there's just been too many of them happening right now and I don't have enough time. So that's one thing I'm going to try and do. And I don't know. I just, I feel like between having the draw pod, my own personal art projects, making content for reels, making content for YouTube, like making art videos, I feel like I'm just losing track of everything. And it's like, I'll just open up a sketchbook and be like, oh, I can work on this today. Okay, that sounds good. And then, I mean, I feel like I'm not missing out on anything and I, I cover all my bases or whatever, but like, I don't know. It's strange. Anyway, um, I apologize for this being an incredibly rambly podcast if you like a little more structure. But then again, if you're tuning in, I, I bet you are down for the rambles. So um, I will see you next week for a longer podcast, probably, if you like that. Maybe y'all like the shorter ones more. I don't know. Um, let me know if you are a listener. And um Yeah, I really appreciate your ears and your time and everything. Definitely make sure to check out the description of this podcast. I always like stack it full of a lot of really useful links and resources and um, check out the artist of the week, Monica Forsberg. This is a really important one. I love her so very much. And yes, thanks for listening to this week's episode of The Draw Pod and I will talk to you next Saturday.